Are you ready for another lab? Well, as was talked about in the plant propagation lecture, seed germination rate is important thing to know. It gives you an idea of how much of your seed is going, is, has the potential to grow and give you a crop. So let's do a lab where you can figure that out. Okay, let's get started. Number one on the instruction sheet says label your plastic bag or container. Okay, I'm gonna put the date and the name of the seed. Okay, I'm gonna do my mustard seed first. So I'm gonna write mustard on here. And today's date is 6, 13, 20. Okay. Now, <clears throat> number two says fold your paper towel in half to make a crease. Now this is really one of those terrible, you know, you could tear half, this is the half of a paper towel is what I'm trying to say. So you wanna fold it and make a crease. Okay, and then open it back up. Then I wanna count at least 10 seeds from the packet. And here's my seed packet. And uh, if you wanna use multiples of 10, that's fine too, but using 10 is easy. I'll try to get 10 on here. These are very small. And I wanna put them, uh, spread them on the bottom half of this paper towel piece. Spread them out, they don't want them touching each other. I'll get 10 on there, then I'll get them spread out. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10. Okay, let me get them spread out a little bit. Make sure I have 10. One, two. How many do I have here? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. I got two too many. Okay, that should be good. All right, then, <clears throat> so I've arranged them, and number four, it says arrange them so they aren't touching each other, and then it says to fold the other half of the towel over the arranged seeds, and try not to jiggle it too much. Okay, and then <clears throat> uh, you can lay them in rows, whatever is easier for you, okay? Uh, now, moisten the paper towel. It says to moisten the paper towel, and it says to use a mister. So how moist does it need to be? Well, it needs to be pretty moist. We wanna keep these, the seeds are gonna absorb this water and we wanna keep them moist the whole time that they're trying to sprout or germinate. Okay, so that was number six. It says now moisten the paper towel. We've done that using a mister bottle. This is what we, what we chose to use this time. Next time we're gonna do the alternative where it says to squeeze out the, wet the paper towel and squeeze out the excess. So then I'm gonna slide this into, in this case, we're gonna use the sandwich bag. So let's open up, or actually it's a quart bag, a quart freezer bag. If I can pick this up, almost need a spatula and get it into the bag, like so. I'm gonna wanna push as much air out as I can. Make sure my edge is not into the, a little bit further. Now I can zip lock it. Okay, so now I've got my seeds moistened on a paper towel in my plastic bag. Number eight says to place it, a sealed, the sealed bag in a dark location, about 65 or 75 degrees. That's, that's the range of most people's homes. So you can put it somewhere where it's dark, like in a kitchen cabinet uh, or a drawer, but be sure to set a reminder on your phone so you don't forget about it, okay? If you have something that requires light for germination, uh, some seeds, when you read the seed packet, it may say, don't cover with soil, requires light to germinate. You can put those in a semi-shaded spot. Okay, so that takes us through number eight. Okay, so number nine says about every two days, and again, you got a reminder on your phone, <laughs> check your test and look for the formation of the radical. That's the little tiny white root, the first embryonic root that's going to come out. Count and record the days from starting, how many days since the date that you wrote on the bag, and how many seeds have germinated, okay? And for some, it's easier to record the number of germinated seeds each day and then remove those from the test. That way you don't recount them. When you check again, any seeds that have germinated is added to the number and you can also remove them. Okay, your seed packet or your seed catalog should tell you how many days it should take these to germinate. Uh, it says continue to check your seed a few days past this point. 
uh, to determine whether they're, uh, they're actually going to sprout at some point. Okay, and then we are gonna come back and show you this. We're gonna actually put this uh, in, a, in a proper place and we're gonna come back and show you when they've started to germinate and then how to calculate your percent germination. Okay, one alternative, or this, this method uses, another method uses a couple of alternatives here. Uh, I'm gonna use uh, peas and they're a little bit larger seeds. I wanna make sure they have plenty of water. I'm gonna use a double layer of this paper towel. And I'm gonna make what, um, in horticulture class, I learned about making rag dolls. <laughs> Don't ask me why they call it a rag doll. I guess it could look a little bit like a doll. But we're gonna wet this before we put the seeds on it. So I'm gonna put it in this water bowl and get it nice and so soaked. And then I'm gonna squeeze it out just to the point where it's not dripping. It's really wet, really, really wet, but not drippy. Okay, that looks pretty good. So none of this has to be exact. And I'm gonna take 10 seeds out here. And I'm gonna just put them in a row, about halfway through, halfway up the paper towel. One, two, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. I'll fit 10 in there. That's a half. Okay, we've got our 10 seeds here. I'm gonna fold it with the paper, with the peas in it. Okay, and there's my little pea line, and then I'm gonna roll it up. And I guess maybe this is why they call it a rag doll. I have no idea. Well, and then I'm gonna fold this, and I can put and I can put this in a in a plastic bag if you want to do that. All right, this time I'm gonna try just putting it in a um, in a jar, and I'm gonna put another uh, wet paper towel in it just to make sure it just doesn't start to dry out because there's a lot of air space in there. Just some extra extra moisture, and then I will seal that up. And since I guess what I forgot to do, label the top. I've got peas. And the date, 6, 13, 20. And we'll, all, we'll, we'll put this in the same place that we put the mustard seeds. And again, we'll come back and show you these uh, in all the results. Okay, here's something else you might want to do once you've done your uh, germination rate. If you have seed that are very expensive or maybe seed that is limited in number, you've saved it or it's a special kind of seed, you may not want to use it up doing uh, the test. So let's, here's a... A germination test that's already been uh, counted and recorded from um, from another source but when you open it up you see that some of these have have germinated and you'll see the fuzzy little radical coming out I can get it open there we go you can see that these seeds these are pepper seeds and they have begun to sprout Okay, so now again, if these were seeds that I really didn't want to waste the seeds to do this, I could plant them right from this paper into some seed starting mix. It's already been, we've already, you've already been told about seed starting mix, how it's finer and it's better to get seed started. I put it in here and I've misted it like this enough to get the, the top inch or so wet. Um, and I'm gonna put the seeds right in there. And then I'm going to cover them lightly with more seed starting mix. Here are forceps. I'm going to remove the germinated seed and place them gently one per square. I'm just going to put them on the top. I am going to cover them up, but I'm not going to cover them up until after I have all six planted. Now this one is a little, this one is stuck to the paper. So I'm just going to rip a little bit of the paper and plant it with it because it will decompose and, and we'll never know that it was even, we'll never even know it was there. Okay, like that. That and plant it. Have more germinated seed. Germinated seed here. See if I'm planting one or two. Here's one. That one came off nicely. 
be very gentle and try not to break that root. Now that I've got them planted, I'm going to cover them. I have uh, some soil here, the same kind of soil. I'm going to cover them about two times the size of the seed. You don't want to really bury them too deeply. You want to put enough soil on top of them that they'll stay moist. But you don't want them to dry out. That's too much. Get some of them back over here. it out a little bit, make sure it's even. Okay, and then we want to uh, mist again. That's that dry soil will again get get this water right out back up out of the seeds. So we want to keep everything wet. If you don't have a mist bottle, you can figure something to do. If you just if you put a too forceful water uh, stream in there, it'll, of course, it'll wash the seed around and wash the seed, uh, wash the soil out. So just be gentle with it. So now we have our special seed planted. Step, and a really important step, is to label what we planted. Can't stress that enough. If you're planting several different things, especially if it's different varieties of the same thing, if you don't label, you find yourself not, uh, not, when, <laughs> not knowing what happened until you start to bear fruit. Okay, so I planted, uh, let's see, over here on my notebook, I have, I planted uh, giant Marconi. And I planted it on 6, 13, 20. So I'll put that one right here. And then I planted mariachi. And again, six, 13, 20. And then I planted Aji Rico. And again, it's so, so important to put the date, you know, when you planted it, that way, you know, if it should, when it should, about when it should be coming up and if it's gonna grow for you. Okay, here we are at the end of our germination test. We know it's the end for us because you probably can't see this on camera, but I can see through the plastic that there's some of the little roots of the mustard seeds are actually coming out. They can see some green where the little, uh, plants are starting to grow and actually photosynthesize so we put them in light for the day. Also on the jar where we put the bean seeds, you can actually see the emerging uh, bean plant from that. So we know we've got germination. So let's open up the mustard seed that we put in the plastic bag. Remember it's between two sheets of paper towel. Carefully try to slide them out. To keep them flat. Okay, I think actually you'll, you can see this well. But here's one of the seeds that's, <laughs> I think it's not one of the 10, it kind of snuck in there. We've got our one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and there's another one over here. Okay, let's open it up. 
Okay, here we are. Uh, got a, we've got them laid out on white paper, which makes it really easy to see, especially with uh, little small seeds like this. We have our 10 seeds. We've got eight here and two here. And of all of those 10, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, looks like seven of them germinated really, really well. So we would call that seven out of 10. So let's go over to our worksheet at the second page of the instructions. And my results were seven out of 10. Now, if you go up here to number 11 and look at what that means, it says at the conclusion of your test, calculate your germination percentage. Well, how do we turn this into a percentage? Well, we're gonna do it the easy way. Seven out of 10 is 70%. And as the, as the example on number 11 says, if nine out of 10, it's 90%, eight out of 10 is 80%, seven out of 10 is 70%. So whatever your number is here, it's times 10 and it's percent, okay? If you have more seeds, if, if you do an odd number of seeds, you have to do the calculation yourself, uh, getting percentages, okay? All right, so we have seven out of 10%, is that, viable seed, is that considered seed that we would plant? Well, I would say yes. I would very uh, very happily uh, plant something that has 70%, and sometimes you might get better percentage than that. I think uh, during in the discussion and during lecture, they discussed at what percentage you would not plant the seed. Okay, so that's the mustard test. Let's look at the, and this, uh, I wrote that down and I need to write mustard next to it because I've got two different things going on here. Now these are pea seeds and these, I have to tell you, are right out of the grocery store. So let's see how that works. Okay, this other, remember this other paper towel was just to keep some moisture in there. It looks like it did a really nice job because things are really nice and wet. And let's see what kind of germination we have here. This should be a little easier to get open. Okay, so for the grocery store seeds, right now we have one, two, three, four, you can see the radical on that one has come out, and this one's beginning to come out, five, six. It looks like six out of 10 are germinating at this point, and these are so just, the, just beginning their germination, so I would probably put this back in and let it go another two days and see what I get from there. Okay, but right now we have one, two, three, four, five, six. So we would say 60% now, but that will change hopefully when these little guys have to have a, a more time to grow. So I'm gonna put them back, roll them back up. Put them back in, put the lid back on and give them a, two more days. So now I've got 77 out of 10 or 70% for my mustard seed. So I have concluded. Now what you want to remember to do is to post a photo to your discussion board. So you see how I have this laid out here? That would make a wonderful picture. Uh, or maybe you want to fold a part of it up and put your percentage, how you calculated it uh, at the bottom. But please post for each other so you can see what other people are doing and how they're doing it. One other thing we did last time was to take some of the seeds like these uh, peppers that we have that have already started to sprout and if we didn't want to waste these seeds we would actually pick them up like we did last time pick them up and plant them and there you have a head start on your little uh, transplants for your garden so here is what happened for those seeds remember we had ahi rico mariachi and a giant um, marconi Okay, and it looks like we did really well. Okay, we have, for 70% germination with the seed and the mustard, looks like we got uh, all of these that germinated growing. So we didn't have to worry about it because we already knew they were gonna grow when we planted them, no matter what the percentage was when we did our test. So we have some nice healthy pepper seeds here all ready to put in the garden. And that concludes our, our uh, seed germination test. Again, just be sure to post to the message board.